So it, it's happened. It's finally revealed after probably, what, a month, month and a half ago when CTESPN leaked out many jerseys along with this Giants one. When we first saw it, we were all kind of taken, you know, taken back a little by seeing how horrible this design was. Yesterday, the Giants probably a little teaser video talking about how they're going to show it in the morning today as they're recording its Thursday, which it's, it's released. And we finally get to see the full picture of it. Now, we kind of get a whole gist of it. Some people kind of make, you know, concept uh, photos and kind of, you know, uh, photoshopping the jersey on, on players. I think the notable one I saw was Saquon Barkley of rendering what it would look like in the modern times. And it looks exactly like that. And to me, it's it looks horrible. It does. It's... I don't know where to start off with this. It, there's there's a lot going, a lot going on with this jersey, and to kind of just you know to put this in perspective, this jersey is replacing the '90s uniform that they've worn the last couple of seasons, which people love. People love that jersey. It's a it, it's amazing. It's probably one of the better jer- alternate jerseys in the NFL. And after two years of that amazing style, they decided to replace it, to my knowledge at least, with this. And this is a this is different. This is a complete 180 of what the Giants are and what they've worn before, especially the helmets. It's this essentially is a, a knockoff from not nah, such a, a knockoff because you, if you really look in the history of it, they wore this. If I did my history correct, they've worn this before Michigan. But it just reminds you of when you see this still. It just reminds you of, of Michigan Wolverines with the helmet the helmet color instead of dark blue and yellow. You have uh, you know a, a I guess a lighter blue compared to Michigan and uh, and red. So right off the bat, it looks like they're wearing a Michigan helmet. You do have the gray face mask, which doesn't look, you know, not the, the worst thing in the world, but definitely you know, a lot of different colors going on with this jersey. So you have Michigan helmet, essentially, gray face mask. You basically have, you know, the football version of the Montreal Canadiens with with the, with the blue line going through the middle. Uh, the, I mean, the worst part about it is just the, the pants. I mean, it just... It, I mean, we've seen this. We've seen this plenty of times before in other alternate jerseys. It just it they could have picked any other color. They could have won the blue, red, white. I mean, I've seen some people do mock ups of white jersey or white pants they put on here. And it does look. It does the jersey does look a lot better with it, but the, the tan pants. I mean, I don't know what they're doing with it. And the socks. I mean, it's just it's the same resemblance to the jersey. I just I don't know what to think about it. I mean, the only good thing about this jersey is the logo. And I do have a little bit of a not you know a little bit of a concerned with the logo or the patch they have on there for the 100th anniversary i love the design but it's it looks pretty big it's a pretty bulky patch at least at least in my opinion it's a pretty huge patch they have on there so this is both so this image and the image i'm going to show you next is both from of course the new york giants page and it's a little bit more up and close of that so they call it the century red commemorative uniform you know it's big name you know long name for the uniform and it's you know you get a little bit closer up view, especially to the patch. And again, that's the only thing that's going. That's the only thing that's going for for this jersey. And I don't know if they're going to solely keep that patch on this alternate uniform, or they're going to they're going to wear it on their home and away, and uh, whatever. If there's a fourth jersey that they would be wearing this year, I don't know if, if they are offhand, but I don't know if they will wear it for their normal home and away uniforms. But I would I would guess so because you know we've seen other teams in, in the past, like the Detroit Lions last year, the 60th anniversary. They wore in all their uniforms, so I expect that to be the same way for the Giants. But that's the only thing going forward with the, with this jersey. I mean, it's I don't know where to start. I mean, it just be. I mean, it comes down to, and I've seen a lot of people kind of write this. Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. And I think there's a perfect example right here of what the New York Giants have done. I mean, to me, I, I kind of wrote in a weird way. I like these. A part of me likes like these in, in a weird way because of just how bad they are. Uh, to me, I just kind of look at it so bad that it kind of is nice. I mean, it's, it's it's certainly far different than what we've ever seen before. Now, now, don't get it twisted. Even though I said that, they are horrible jerseys. They are probably one of the worst jerseys we've ever seen. They, they, no doubt, they are on the the top of the list, and you know, definitely making a case for that. I mean, I. I'm certainly interested to see how many times they wear it and when the, and how it looks in, in live action in a game. I would expect that they wear us maybe, you know, once, maybe twice, pushing that in the season, unless there's a high demand and high popularity with us, which I doubt. This is probably going to be one and done. I don't see this if this is the hundredth anniversary uniform that they would keep this going after this year. Again, if, unless there's just a huge pour out, outpour, people loving this jersey, which again, this is probably a huge. You know, if I not a betting man, but I mean, if I, if I had to put a lot of money on it, if people love it or hate it, I'm I'm gonna assume at least ninety percent of the of fans hate this jersey, especially Giants fans. So I I I would assume 
that this will be a one and done after this year. I don't know if that is the case if they go back to the '90s jerseys, which would be the the right choice to do. But again, I just can't believe that they actually went through with this jersey. You know, I'm sure they ha- I'm sure the social media team had to see something on on, on Twitter or just anything, especially with CT ESPN leaking the, the jersey. Now, of course, you can't just publicly come out and say that because you're going to confirm it. But still, I I just feel like you know behind the scenes in private that you would just see the the response to just that that leaked jersey and just how people were you know what view it. I think I, I would just I thought you would just kind of change your mind and just stick with the '90s jerseys, which again people love. You go from a polar opposite to a jersey that people love to a jersey right now that people hate. It's just there's too much going on here. There's too many different things on this jersey going on. Uh, there's plenty of videos on here. You can on, on the Giants page you can go and look and see if people, you know players inter- interact with it. But it's I don't know how to describe it. I, I don't know how to, where to rank it, how to put it out of 10. I mean, I, maybe two out of 10 is being you know too generous, but it's, I don't know what to do. It's I feel bad for the Giants players that are going to have to wear this. I'd be pretty interested to see when they announce when when they're going to wear and how many times they are. And I just, that's gonna be, to me, that's going to be must-see TV, honestly. Even even if they if they if it's wor- you know the worst case scenario if they're horrible this year that's must see TV I gotta see this live because we're probably never we're probably never gonna see these jerseys ever again after this year it might be, it might be you know one and done it might be one game and that's it I don't know but we we all have to you know tune into this game and we gotta see these things and live action we gotta tell people maybe our kids someday that we got to witness these horrific jerseys and I never would have thought. I would see horrible jerseys, and some people kind of compare it to the Bumblebee, Bumblebee jersey and a couple of the previous alternate uniforms that the Packers had with it, the white, you know, the, or not the uh, the yellow circle in the middle, in the middle of the blue, you know, dark blue jersey, and they they used to wear like the uh, yellow helmet, and I think prior to that too, before the the helmet changed, they wore like a brown helmet with that as well. I mean, there's plenty of there's plenty of different you know uh, concepts and different jerseys throughout the years you can point to, and it's horrible, but this this certainly takes one of the top of the list. I mean, I don't know what's even going on with the shoulder pads, too. It's just, it's, I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking about this. I mean, I just, it sucks. And the last, you know, uniform video I made was Houston Texans. And this is a complete, you know, you know we talked about 180 from the 90s jersey to then. I and mean, this is a complete 180 to the Texans for rebranding. I know this is different because it's an alternate jersey and the Texans is full rebrand. But, I mean, I think we can all agree. Even if you don't like some of the, the you know, the uniforms the Texans brought out, I think that the people will probably take those. 10 out of 10 than what the Giants came out with. But like I said, I'm definitely going to tune in to see this Giants game when they wear this, just to see how bad they are on live TV. And it's going to make it worse if they, if they are wearing these jerseys and they just get blown out. And I, I can, I really feel honestly, no, not, you know, not joking around. I feel bad for the Giants fans, Giants players that they have to, that this organization really went through with this Jersey and really made this a reality. But I guess in a funny way, maybe we get the, you know, it's, I guess it's good because we get to witness something like this, but Again, this is the this is the Giants uniforms they're coming out with the hundredth anniversary jersey from nineteen twenty five. Yeah, it's it's something, all right.